Good morning, Dr. Pham. How is everybody? Thanks for hopping on. Good morning, Trilogy. It's Friday, she's working. I have another sidekick here. He's just not wanting to come on camera, which he had the right to pick. But Ashland is at work today, working a double. All right, guys, just a couple more seconds. We'll let a couple people pop on and we'll get going with Friday's stretch. As always, we'll get started with our dynamics. Get those joints loosened before we start taking care of those muscles. They're asking you to join. You're going to come on? Good morning, Sue. He's laughing, but he ain't coming. Let's pin those shoulders back and down. And let's turn left to right. And up and down. Good morning, Jerry. Lastly, ear to shoulder. Good morning, Theo. Good. Hands up, wrist bent back, arms in, wrist bent down, back and forth. Good morning, Rambi. Go Cougs. Good morning, Pam. Good morning, Stacy. How's Coach Elliot? Good. Arms in, wrist circles. Switch direction. Good, palms up, scoop towards the face, bring them through, extend them out, through and out. From here, pinch those shoulders back, round them out. Pinch and round. Good. Extend those arms straight out. High low. Bring those fingers towards each other. Extend them back out. Switch sides.
Excellent. Bring those down. Shrug one shoulder up. Roll that shoulder all the way forward and roll it all the way back. Up and over and back. Make that whole shoulder joint turn all the way over and all the way back. Excellent. Let's make big circles. When you're making those big circles, bring those hands through the waistline. Don't clap them together. Hi, Brittany. Are you out there in the lobby following along? Switch directions. Good. From here, shoulders over hips, twist right at the rib cage. Good, hands on hips, hip circles. Switch directions. All right, well, hopefully you brought a belt, a strap, a towel, a sweatshirt, something with a little length that we can grab onto. I wanna grab that just outside of shoulder width, extend those arms out straight, and let's come up and bring it back. Try to keep those arms locked out. It doesn't matter how far back it goes if you have to bend your arms to get it back there. Pull straight arms back and forward. Just keep it in that tightest spot in the shoulder and chest area. A few more. Good, let's bring that strap up overhead. I wanna lean over. Side to side, bending at the rib cage, not leaning over your legs. By bending at the rib cage, we're gonna open up those ribs in that lat. Hey, Marty. Good. From the same position, now we'll rotate and twist our whole torso. Two more. Good. 
Let's take that strap, whatever we're holding on to, bring it behind the head. Grab right by the neck. Take your other hand, slide it behind your back and grab low, right at your low back area. We're gonna take this hand and we're gonna pull down, pulling the upper arm into a higher stretch. That elbow is gonna start to wanna point towards the ceiling. Good, let's take that high arm now. I wanna lift the low arm up and tuck it up under. And you can bring this arm over. So now we've tucked the low arm up and under our shoulder blade. Keep postured up, try not to hunch over while you're doing this stretch, sit tall. Good, bring that high hand back up. And now we're just gonna go up and down. See if you're holding a towel and drying off your back. Up and down. Dynamically move into this stretch a few times before we switch sides. Good, release the low hand, replace the top hand. Top hand replaces the low hand. I'm gonna start by pulling down, pulling that upper arm up into the stretch. Good, take that upper arm, pull the lower arm up and under, and then bring that strap over to relax. Again, nice and tight up under. Feel the majority of this stretch to the anterior head of the deltoid right in the front side of the shoulder. You may still feel some into the back, into the tricep. Mostly stretching along the shoulder line here. From here, bring that strap up. Up and down, dry that back off again. Good, relax that. Go ahead and release your strap. We're going to regrip our strap now behind us. So either hand to hand behind you, or you can go as wide as your hips, depending on your level of flexibility. Once you have those straps, pull your shoulder blades back, lift your chest up and punch those arms down. And then from here, we're going to pull our arms away from the body. Now, as long as you kept your shoulder blades back and your chest up, you should feel this opening up the chest around the rib cage area. If you didn't get those shoulders pulled back, you might feel more of your stretch again in the shoulder joint and not so much in the chest. Good, from here, I wanna push those hips back Sit back into your hips and then bring your arms up and over as much as your arms will allow you. Again, everybody's flexibility level is different. Just make sure you're back in those hips so you're supporting your low back and you're not stressing your low back to get into this stretch. Good, we're gonna push our hips back underneath. 
and let those arms come back down to relax. Good. From this point, we can do away with our strap. That's the strap stretches we're gonna work on today. And instead, get yourself next to your chair if you need some balance support. If you don't, you can just stand where you're at. But we're gonna cross over, one foot over the other. Again, we're gonna sit back into those hips. If you need that chair for stability and support, use it. If not, we're gonna keep pushing those hips back as far as we can get them to go. How far you go down is not important, how far back is. Pushing those hips back, 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 back. Some of you may be able to get your hands on the ground, some may not, and that's okay. It's the stretch we want into that hip and the IT band, not whether we can touch the floor or not. Push those hips right back underneath us. I want to switch our feet. Back foot goes in front, crosses over, and we're going to go back into that hip, pushing those hips back behind. Sit back, back, back into those hips. Good, let's drive those hips right back underneath us. And we're gonna space our feet out now. This was pretty popular if you joined us on Tuesday. We're gonna bring our feet out outside of our shoulder width. We're gonna pick a side to start on. I'm gonna start on my left, so I'm gonna turn my toe to my left so it's pointing away from me. My left hand is gonna be right on my left thigh. My right hand's gonna go up into the air. I'm gonna push my hips to the right and I'm gonna glide down on my leg as far as I can go, and then open the shoulder up to the ceiling. You're gonna feel this in lots of different areas. It could be down the inside of the thigh, it could be along your ribs, rotating into your thoracic zone, you're gonna feel it where you're most tight. Push those hips back underneath, bring that arm down. My foot's still pointing that way. I'm gonna to turn to face it. I'm gonna switch my arms this time. So now I'm gonna put my right arm on my left leg and my left arm towards the sky. And I'm gonna push those hips back and to the side again. And I'm gonna open up the opposite direction. Now, do you need to get all the way down to your foot? Nope. You're gonna go down to your level and what your body lets you do. You're gonna stop at a decent tension point and allow the body to stretch. Good, we're gonna bring that down. Bring ourselves back up. Take that left foot, turn it back forward and we're gonna switch sides. Take the right foot. Turn it away, <clears throat> right hand on the leg, left arm goes up, and I go down, opening up towards the ceiling. Good morning, Larry, good morning, Gwen. Good, bring those hips back under. Remember, rotate to face that leg now. My left arm goes on my right leg, traces down and I open up towards that ceiling. 
towards the sky if you're on the deck. Good. Bring yourself back down and up. We can bring those feet back in underneath us. All right, we're gonna grab our chair now. Again, you can be on the wall for this next stretch if you'd rather use the wall instead of a chair. If your chair's got too high of a back, it's gonna be a little difficult to use your chair on, so I would suggest you use a wall. But we're gonna be just out of reach of our chair. So I can't touch my chair from standing up straight. I'm gonna lean out onto it. So I'm gonna tilt my weight over, supporting myself up with my arm. And I'm going to take my outside leg and I'm going to step over to the inside. I'm going to push my hips underneath me and I'm going to sink them down towards the chair. So try not to be bent over when you do this stretch. You're going to miss the hip. The hip's got to be directly underneath you before you sink them in so it actually hits down that hip joint line. Not everybody's always tight in every single area. I try to cover a lot of body parts during our time. And yeah, it could mean you're not in a stretch correctly if you don't feel it, but it doesn't always mean that. You could be spot on and maybe that muscle in your body is just not tight. And that's okay. Good, we're gonna push those hips away. Keep those legs crossed. You should have a free hand that wasn't on the chair or the wall. And we're gonna squat down a little bit to make it easier to reach. And we're gonna pick up the back leg, the leg that's behind us. And we're gonna grab a hold. So it should be opposite. My left arm's holding my right leg. And I'm gonna stand all the way back up, still using that chair if I need it for balance or the wall. And I'm gonna pull up into a quad stretch. The best is to get a hold of your shin low, down by the ankle. But if you can get a hold of anything, if you're tight and it's hard for you to hold of your shin, if you can get a hold of your shoe, your toe, uh, the loop on the back of the shoe if you got one, it could be the cuff of your pants to help you pull your leg up. Anything's going to get us stretching into that quad and working our way to finally being able to get a hold of our shin. Good. From here, we're going to release this leg. And we're going to bring that leg around to the front, right above the knee joint. So ankle just above the knee. If you need to hold on, you can. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see my back. So from here, I want to straighten my back out. And I want to sit back into my hips. So notice my low shin is still straight. It's perpendicular to the floor. I'm not pushing forward and changing the angle onto my knee. I'm sitting back into that hip joint and getting pressure into this cross-legged hip here. Keeping my back straight. So this gets into our piriformis. We're gonna hit it a couple times today in a couple different stretches. So again, there's lots of ways to stretch the same muscle. Lots, lots, lots. And we try to cover several of them on the muscles that tend to get the most tight. And I also do it because not everybody finds every stretch easy to get into. So the more variations of the stretch we can do, the more opportunities to find one that works the best for you. Good, let's bring those hips right back underneath. And we're gonna put our foot down. All right, I'm just gonna move my chair so I can keep facing and talking with you. But you guys can just turn around, go the other direction, but we're gonna be just out of reach of that chair or wall again. I'm gonna lean out onto it. Step over, hips underneath before you sink them down. So good upright posture. So notice my legs are more at the angle but my spine ends up being a little more straight up and down. And again, it may not get there. If your hip's really tight, you may not sink deep enough to get straight. It might 
you back here a little bit and you're still a little crooked and that's okay. Again, when you stretch, if you think about a tension scale of one being, I feel nothing, I'm super limber, and 10 feels like the muscle is about to rip in half or tear itself from the bone. I only guys want you guys getting into like a six, five, six of tension. Something where you definitely can feel it, but it's not overwhelming. It allows your mind to relax and you to breathe comfortably. So the body knows you're not trying to do damage. And it'll send out the right chemicals then to help the muscle release. Good, let's push that hip away. And again, using your free hand, bring yourself lower, pick up that back leg, pull up into that quadricep stretch. The more you can pull your knee back, the better you're gonna get into the quad and the hip flexor. Again, I get it, sometimes we're so tight, we can only get a hold of our knee forward, but let's work our way into getting into the best stretch we can. Good, release that foot, bring it around to the front, uh, above the knee, straighten that back and push that hip back behind you. So recently, I, I'm, I'm guessing since the world is doing live videos, Facebook's been limiting the amount of people I can invite. So, Feel free to share this out. We want other people to take advantage because unfortunately, I can no longer just invite as many as I want. These videos get recorded and they're put on the Trilogy YouTube page so you can come back to them and do your workouts later. And we're also broadcasting live across all the trilogies right now, which is pretty outstanding. Good, let's bring that hip back forward and foot down. All right, guys, before we turn our chair around, we're gonna use the back side of our chair. And again, you can use the wall for this, hands on the wall. But we're gonna put those hands on the back of the chair. We're gonna walk ourselves back till we're almost perpendicular. We're gonna go the rest of the way by just using our hips now to push those hips back behind and bring our head down through our arms. So again, pushing those hips past your heels. Good, let's bring those hips back forward. And we're gonna turn our chair around. We want the seat of the chair facing us now. Feet spaced out. We're going to take one leg and we're going to pick it up into the chair. Again, don't put your foot up on something that seems like it's a little too high for you. If you need to use a step stool or something a little shorter, that's fine. By all means, set your chair next to a wall if you want to have your hand on a wall or something at the edge of the couch for balance. But let's get that foot up. And again, we're going to take our hips and we're going to turn our hips into the leg that's up. We're going to straighten our back and we're going to tilt our hips backwards. Once our hips have gone back, then we're going to bring that chest forward, increasing the stretch into the back of the leg that's in the chair on that hamstring. Once you feel like you're in it, double check those hips again to make sure you're turning your hips into the leg that's up, not allowing them to open up. They'll take away from that stretch. So again, hip rotated in, chest forward over the hamstring. From this stretch, 
take that foot that's up in the chair and pull it back towards you. That should be an all new kind of fun and good feeling for you. Good. Let's relax and sit upright again. Again, don't sacrifice your balance, but if you can, you can just open up that foot. But don't worry about slipping and goofing. You can just step down, turn your body, and put the foot back up too. So foot's in the same position, pointing at the ceiling, but we've rotated. This allows our hips to open up completely now. Foot should be facing 90 degrees away from the upper foot. Push those hips gently behind you. And then we're going to lean our body weight towards the foot that's on the chair. This immediately should take that stretch down the inside of that raised leg, down your adductor line. Where you put your hands, rest them, take them. You can lean up and over if you want. Just don't collapse your spine. Keep your spine nice and straight no matter what you do. Good. Let's bring those hips back forward underneath us. I'm going to take that foot down so I can turn, face my chair again. Same leg, but I'm going to step up onto my chair now so my foot's flat. Whether your chair has arms or using the back, go ahead and lean forward and grab onto something. Look down at that leg that's on the floor and turn and rotate that foot so it's nice and straight and that heel is kicked back. You don't want it to rotate in. When the heel rotates in, our hip opens up. We want to keep that hip closed off. From this position, we want to drop our hip straight down. You may need to readjust this foot, kind of sit where you want it to as you sit down and upright. We want to tuck that hip forward underneath us and posture up nice and tall. Where is this stretch? This stretch should be down the hip flexor of the leg that's extended to the floor. Don't be sitting forward up over your knee and pushing forward. I want to come straight down and engage this hip underneath me. Good morning, Peggy. How are you? Good, from this position, again, hands on the back of the chair, or if you have arms on your chair, we're gonna pick those hips up, we're gonna push them behind us. And then I'm gonna reach forward as far as I can go. So again, if it's the back of the chair or the arms of the chair, and I'm gonna be over that leg. It's okay if your leg doesn't go straight. Notice mine's slightly bent here. I'm not trying to get my leg locked out. Just the pressure of it trying to be straight and is putting a nice stretch into my hamstring again. Good, let's bring that hip forward. And we're gonna push ourselves off the chair. I'm gonna turn my chair, because we're gonna do the other side. Keep facing you for demo reasons. So facing that chair, we're gonna pick that foot up. Remember to square those hips off before we straighten our spine, tilt our hips back, and bring that chest forward.
Again, we want to feel this down the back straight line of that leg, hamstring. Double check those hips, make sure you're turning them in. And then let's pull that foot back towards us. If you're real tight and this is tough, again, have something next to you for balance or holding on to so we can focus on the stretch itself, not about trying to keep our balance. Good, let's push those hips underneath again. Now, if you need to open up, remember you can step down again and step back up, but we're gonna open those hips up, turn that bottom foot on the floor, straighten that spine, push those hips gently back behind you, and let's lean towards that leg that's up in the chair. Well, if any of you joined us yesterday for Tabata Thursday, this should feel pretty outstanding today. I know we worked pretty hard yesterday. Good, push those hips back underneath. We're gonna to turn to face our chair again. Same legs up and flat. Reaching forward, check that back foot so it's kicked straight or even exaggerated out slightly. And then we're gonna sink. Those hips down. Engaging that hip forward on the leg that's lengthened out behind us. If you joined us before, remember you can raise up the arm on that same side and extend it real high to help get into that stretch even deeper. If you feel the stretch without it, don't worry about raising the arm though. Just putting it here doesn't do anything. You've got to extend it high as if you're opening up each level of your ribs. Good. Again, grabbing hold on something for balance. Let's take those hips, pick them up, and push them behind. We're gonna slide those arms forward so our weight's over that leg. Good, let's push those hips forward and push ourselves off our chair. Let's go ahead and take that chair. We're gonna turn it around so we can sit down. Let's have a seat on our chair. Hopefully whatever you're sitting on is an area that you can reach down and grab onto. Someone grab to the low end of my chair. I'm gonna take my other arm off to the side and I'm gonna lean with that arm. I'm gonna hold on tight so as I lean, it pulls this shoulder down and builds some tension into here. Now I'm gonna reach this free arm up and over and I'm gonna pull my ear gently down away from me into that pull.
take some pressure off that head. Rotate your chin down. So you're looking down at the ground through your shoulder now. Reach that same hand up. And let's pull our chin down and away now. Keep leaning away. Make sure you're keeping your spine straight. It's tilting to the side, but we're not gonna slouch. Good, we're gonna bring ourselves up. Straighten that head back through, and let's switch our hands. Opposite side now, lean, pull that shoulder down and away, up over our head, and pull that ear down to the shoulder. Glad you're feeling it, Pam. Good, relax that pressure. Turn the head to the chins down. Back of the head this time. Good, relax that, head back forward. Good, let's slide back in our chair now. We're gonna take our arms out in front of us, sit back, and I want you to lift those thumbs up and over, and we're gonna go back over our chair. Bring everything back forward. Sit forward. We're gonna cross ankle over knee. Said multiple stretches into certain muscles. So this is our second stretch into our piriformis. So once you have that ankle up over your knee, sit up nice and tall, straighten your back. Even if, it, if you're so tight, you gotta lean backwards. Some of you may find your knees having to point way high because you're pretty tight in there. Don't push down, grab the front, straighten the back, and pull your chest through. Don't push down, through. Good, bring yourself back. Rotate your shoulders to face the knee that's up. I'm gonna take my outside arm and I'm gonna scoop my leg up into my chest. Again, posturing up is what makes this stretch and pulling this leg up into the chest area. You may feel a little tight when you're slouched down, but this Alignment of all, all of our spine is what allows us to get into our hip joint a little bit better and into our glute medius and minimus. Good, 
Let's relax that leg. We're going to uncross that leg and switch to the other side. So ankle over knee, hands on the front side of the shin, posture up, pull your chest through. Sit back up, turn to face that knee, scoop it up into your chest. Posture up nice and tall as you're pulling that leg in. Good. Untwist. Bring those feet down. Let's space them out wide now. Sitting forward, lean out on those legs. I'm going to start with my left arm on the inside of my thigh. And I'm going to push my upper body away until I can get my left arm straight. Locking that arm out, I'm going to sit forward with my weight and I'm going to drop that shoulder through. Pushing that leg away, rotating the shoulder down and through. Bring that shoulder back up. I'm going to switch sides. I'm going to go down on my forearm on that left side. Take my right arm. Push my body away until I can get that arm straight. Bring that shoulder forward and drop it through. Good, bring that back up. From the same position, we're gonna go down towards the floor and underneath our chair. You can use the arms of your chair if you'd like to pull you under the stretch. Then hands on the floor in front of you. We're gonna push and round our shoulder blades and upper back. Tuck that chin down. And roll ourselves back up. Good. Let's go ahead and stand up. Near the end here, we're going to do some standing movement stretches. Let's take this right arm up. Once you have it nice and high, 
want you to lift those ribs open and go even higher. So we're open up down the rib line and we're gonna to lean to our left. So my right arm is going over my head and I'm gonna pull this right arm reaching away across my face until it's hanging down. I'm gonna push my hips back behind me. Swing my body over to the right side. Push those hips back up under and roll myself back upright. Hi, Bruce. Left arm up, up, over. Reach across so those arms are hanging down to that right side. Push those hips back. Swing across to the other side. Push your hips back up under. Throw that shoulder back and sit up. Let's go nice and fluid through that now. Right arm up. Leads the way over and across the face. Hangs down, push hips. Swing across. Hips under, shoulder back and upright. Left arm up. Over, across, hips back. Swing the body through. Hips under, shoulder back. Arms up. Big scoop. We're gonna go down and we're gonna scoop up all the air. Super deep breath. Pick your chest up nice and high. Raise these ribs up. Exhale straight out. Let's take our left side. I'm gonna rotate to our left. Right side stays forward. Deep breath in. Twisting over your hips. Exhale back to center. Open to your right. Back to center. Inhale up. And lean back. Exhale down. Inhale up. Feel your chest. Exhale out. Open left. And close. Open right. And close. Open up. We're going to do one more, guys. We're going to go down again. Lace your fingers this time. Bring those hands up and under. Flip them over and push them away. Inhale up and over. And lean back, pushing against those forearms. Release those fingers and exhale down. Well, great guys. We went head to toe today, standing and sitting in some stretch zones. Tuesday, we'll probably do some floor work. Um, I know you guys like to uh, get on the floor and do some different stretches there too. So Tuesday, we'll do some floor stretches to go along with the other stretches. I hope to see you guys tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Gentle fitness. And then Monday for total body fitness. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Trilogy, stay smiling. Bye now.